Be advised, shooter is in the 2034 building on the third floor. This afternoon, a chaotic scene near Hamilton Place today. Chattanooga police say a shooter attempted to execute a plan which failed. The terrifying incident led Hamilton Place Mall and the surrounding businesses to go on lockdown. Our Grayson Gordon was on the scene and tells us more. We know that the suspect is dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. We do not know if any other bullets were fired, but we do know that nobody else was injured. An active shooter call came in just after two this afternoon. That is when we saw more than five law enforcement vehicles rush by us. Nearby businesses have lifted lockdowns and Sergeant Victor Miller with Chattanooga Police says they believe the area is safe. We don't believe there's any ongoing threat to the public in a situation like this. Whenever there's potentially one shooter, we always go and you know there's potential of a two or second shooter rather. So we do not believe that there are any other shooters or there's no threat to the public. That's the reason why we've talked with nearby businesses and told them that they can remove their lockdown. Multiple agencies responded to the 2000 block of Hamilton Place Boulevard. Police specify it is not the mall, but an office building. Sergeant Miller says the shooter was trying to execute a plan, but cannot yet elaborate on that part of the investigation. Officers do not believe the suspect left the office building. This is still a very active situation. We'll make sure to bring updates as we have them. Reporting in Chattanooga, Grayson Gordon, Local 3 News. And we spoke with some shoppers who were in the mall when it went into lockdown. One woman described what happened amid the chaos. We were headed to the mall and um, as soon as we got here, we started seeing all the cop cars and um, all the action going on over here. And we started going to Dillard's and a lady came running out and had just said um, to get in your car that there had been an active shooter in the area. Of course, we will bring you new details as we learn more on this afternoon's incident.